Colorectal peritoneal metastasis, or CPM, means a bowel cancer that has spread or metastasized within the abdomen onto the peritoneum. This peritoneum is the lining that covers the surface of abdominal organs and the abdominal wall. In CPM, cancer cells in the bowel cancer have broken free and spread onto the surface of the peritoneum and the other organs. Simply, if one imagines a room is like the inside of an abdominal cavity, the organs are the furniture and the peritoneum that covers both the organs and also the abdominal wall is like lining or wallpaper. Between 5-10% to of patients with bowel cancer will already have peritoneal metastases and this is usually identified at the time of surgery. Colorectal peritoneal metastases is estimated to be identified in between 20 to up to 50% of patients during the follow-up period after their bowel cancer surgery. Cancers or tumours within the abdominal cavity can spread or metastasize in three ways. Metastasis refers to the process whereby cancer cells break free and travel and invade other parts of the body. The three ways are one, via the lymphatic vessels to the lymph nodes, the other is via the blood vessels to other organs such as the liver or the lungs, and thirdly is when the cancer grows through the full thickness of the bowel wall and then cancer cells spill or disseminate directly into the abdominal cavity, attaching themselves to the peritoneum and adjacent organs. These cancer cells can then continue to grow and spread. There is also a theory of potential cancer cell spillage which is not visible to the naked eye which occurs at the time of the original bowel cancer operation when attachments are free to remove the tumour. These cancer cells can then grow on the peritoneal surfaces and are really only picked up on scans once they grow big enough to be identified during the follow-up period. The traditional treatment of colorectal peritoneal metastasis or CPM used to just involve mainly systemic chemotherapy either through the intravenous or tablet form. In case of a blockage such as an obstruction in the bowel caused by these peritoneal deposits, a surgical procedure such as a bypass or a stoma was often carried out. Unfortunately survival for patients with CPM is poor in untreated cases. Although there have been recent advancements in modern chemotherapy including targeted therapies and survival has improved they are less effective when the bowel cancer deposits reside on these peritoneal surfaces. It is difficult to attain adequate drug levels within the peritoneum. And if these chemotherapy doses were subsequently increased in attempts to raise drug concentrations, the patients would be exposed to more systemic side effects. These general problems regarding chemotherapy prompted the need to find a more effective approach to treating colorectal peritoneal metastases. Surgery has traditionally not been used with the intention of removing and potentially curing peritoneal metastases until recently. An innovative procedure called cytoreductive surgery in HIPEC or heated or hypothermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy has demonstrated promising results in treating selected patients with peritoneal metastases resulting in a longer term survival. Cytoreductive surgery or CRS and HIPEC, which stands for heated or hypothermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy, is a highly specialised surgical treatment offered in very few centres in the UK for abdominal cancers or tumours which have spread to the peritoneum in the abdominal cavity. The purpose of cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC in selected patients with colorectal peritoneal metastasis is to remove all abdominal disease with specialised techniques in which all visible disease is removed and then treat any remaining invisible or microscopic disease or cells with heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy. This is essentially a hot bath or wash in which heated chemotherapy is able to directly treat remaining cancer cells in the abdominal cavity. There is now good evidence to demonstrate longer term survival for patients with colorectal peritoneal metastases who undergo cytoreductive surgery in HIPEC, with the potential for cure in some patients.
All patients are discussed in a specialised MDT meeting involving surgeons, oncologists, radiologists, pathologists and our clinical nurse specialist to try and work out which patients are likely to gain maximal benefit. We carefully review all the up-to-date scans and previous results paying careful attention to past medical history and general fitness for surgery. Sometimes we may suggest more investigations such as a keyhole examination or laparoscopy to give us more accurate information on the extent of peritoneal disease. When the spread of peritoneal metastases is limited and patients are deemed fit enough for a major operation, cytoreductive surgery with HIPEC is a good option, with a potential for cure in some patients. There are two common scenarios we often encounter. One is when a patient with a bowel cancer has limited peritoneal disease at the same time and the abdominal cavity is the only site of metastases or spread. Two is when patients have limited peritoneal recurrence after a previous bowel cancer operation and that this disease has not returned or come back in a very short interval following original bowel cancer surgery. Other factors like the histology type this is what the cancer looks like under a microscope are important as they give us an indication regarding how aggressive a tumour is or tumour biology and this will point us to the likelihood of when a cancer may come back. CPM patients are likely to gain maximal benefit in terms of survival with a combination of cytoreductive surgery and systemic chemotherapy treatment. This is due to the increased risk of spread to lymph nodes and other organs such as the liver in patients treated for colorectal peritoneal metastasis. Unfortunately, not all patients are suitable for cytoreductive surgery in HIPEC. For cytoreductive surgery in HIPEC to be maximally effective, the abdominal cavity should really only be the only site of spread. If patients have spread or metastases in multiple sites such as the lung, or the disease in the abdomen is too widespread, they are unlikely to benefit from cytoreductive surgery in HIPEC. Systemic chemotherapy may be recommended if we feel that surgery is not possible. These are often in situations where the disease is found to be too widespread to safely remove surgically and the risks far outweigh the benefits. Of course, some patients may prefer to be treated with chemotherapy alone if they do not want to undergo a major operation. Another option is a watch and wait policy. This means that we monitor the cancer closely with scans and if it does continue to grow, we may suggest that you have further chemotherapy or consider a cytoreductive surgery in HIPEC. This type of surgical treatment does have a big impact on your body, both physically and psychologically. We find a lot of our patients feel very tired for about three months. Research has shown, however, that after three months, quality of life does start to return to the level prior to surgery and may improve thereafter in some patients, usually after six months. And although this is extensive surgery, it is possible to live a relatively normal life without the organs removed during your surgery, although some lifestyle adjustments may be required. <music>